All right, great. Thank you so much, Nigel. Uh, hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon around the world. Um, very excited to share with you what we've been working on in AutoCAD. And as, as Nigel said, uh, happy to have some questions at the end. So please share them with uh, through the uh, Q&A or the chat window here. And we can talk about them um, at the end of the presentation. So I will run through some of the new things that we've been working on in AutoCAD and that you'll find in AutoCAD 2020. Okay, so let's jump into it. Um, I wanna start with one of the biggest changes that we announced last year, and that was uh, one AutoCAD. So in about 1995, we started with AutoCAD Mechanical. In 98, we added AutoCAD Architecture and by about 2010, we had seven different flavors of AutoCAD, different tool sets that specialized uh, depending on the exact job and tools that you needed. Maybe you're using AutoCAD Electrical uh, for wiring diagrams or AutoCAD Architecture to quickly create walls, doors, windows. Um, and you worked on your desktop computer that had AutoCAD installed on it. And most likely you were just working in the office. And today, when you subscribe to AutoCAD, you get access to the full power of the AutoCAD family. So you get access to all of the specialized tool sets as well as AutoCAD. And you also get access to our multi-platform uh, flavors of AutoCAD. So we have AutoCAD on web and AutoCAD on mobile devices. And we have been focusing on this quite a bit because our customers are really uh, expecting AutoCAD to be everywhere. So we want to provide the means for them to be able to open a drawing, whether you're on the go or you're at home, you didn't bring your laptop and you don't have AutoCAD installed and you can open AutoCAD on the web. Um, and of course, uh, you know, being in the office and being on your desktop workstation and powering your work uh, as usual. So we are, we are investing in AutoCAD everywhere. And uh, it's very important to us that we make this process as seamless and frictionless as possible for you. And I wanna share some of the themes that are guiding how we as a product team are thinking about um, the, the, the current and future state of AutoCAD. One of the themes that we think about and to guide our product decisions is a cohesive core experience. So what we mean by that is when you open AutoCAD, uh, whether it's on your, on your mobile phone or on the web or on your desktop, we want you to have that same familiar experience that you used to. When AutoCAD pops up, you should be able to open drawing, zoom, pan, and edit and uh, be in that familiar workspace. The next theme that we think about a lot is what we call seamless data and what we mean by this is being able to have your drawings easily accessible uh, no matter the device so we want to remove that friction um, from going to uh, your desktop to your mobile device or to web and we've increasingly been partnering with um, third-party storage i'll talk about that a little bit later with some of the big cloud storage providers as well as our our own autodesk internal uh, storage platforms to enable those easy frictionless uh, flows of your drawings across these devices. And we've been thinking um, and investing quite a bit into cross-platform workflows. So for our cross-platform customers that are using AutoCAD and all of these different modalities of, you know, on the go and on the web and then back in the office, uh, we want to enable those workflows that make it powerful and easy to do that. And fundamentally, uh, we are constantly investing in the core experiences of AutoCAD. And I want to start here with some uh, near and dear work that's been done over the last several releases through 2020. Um, over the last several years, we've been investing quite heavily in improving our 2D graphics performance. And this is something that I know is, is critical to all of our customers. So you want AutoCAD uh, fast and snappy, and, and, and the faster and snappier we can get it with more complex drawings that I feel like are, you know, drawings are getting more complex every year. Um, and we want AutoCAD to, to be as responsive 
the fastest ever. So um, over the last few years, we've invested heavily in, in high graphics efficiencies across, uh, across how we thread and deal with uh, our graphics. You'll see um, some, you sh you, you'll be able to see some serious uh, improvements through things like change properties. So for example, if you go into a layer and change uh, a layer color, for example, um, and then that drawing will, re will refresh on the screen, we've reduced the time of that refresh up to 85%. And other regions that happen on the screen, for example, when you're zooming and panning, have also been improved by, by pretty dramatic increments. So we're, we're seeing up to 86% improvements in our benchmark drawings for things like zooming and panning and um, refreshing views, things that you, will, you, you might have in the past seen AutoCAD take a, a second or two to refresh will now be much, much faster. In 2019, we improved uh, the draw order algorithms that we use. So now, again, that, that refresh is happening much quicker. And one of the most uh, impactful ones that we've done recently is improving the speed of QSafe. And we've cut the time of QSafe by about 66% in our benchmark drawings from 1.4 seconds to 0.5 seconds. And that sounds uh, small, but we know QSAVE is one of the most frequently used commands. It's, it's of course, used many, many times a day uh, by an average CAD user. And we did a little uh, math to share with, that I'd like to share with you just to show what that one second save per QSAVE is. And again, this was an update that was done in 2019.1 of AutoCAD. So if you're on 2019.1 or later, uh, you'll experience this QSAVE um, enhancement. So if we save our customers about one second, uh, that's about 14,000 extra hours of work per month, which equates to 80 work years per year that we're saving our customers. And that's, this is, this is a fun little uh, calculation that we did because we, we at AutoCAD really get excited about being able to deliver this kind of scale of efficiency to our customers. And we know that, um, you know, for, for one customer, this is a big deal to be able to just have that move a little quicker. One of the other big changes that you'll notice in AutoCAD 2020 is that we have a new dark theme. And I'll take you through a little bit of the history of uh, power themes. Here you'll see this may invoke some nostalgia. AutoCAD 2004 uh, was, the, was the first classic gray theme that we introduced. But I think if you look at it now, um, while it does look familiar and invoke some of that nostalgia, you'll see that it's, it's not the greatest visual experience that we can offer. And 2009, we started to enhance the dark theme a bit to make the icons easier to read and give some hierarchy to the different types of icons that are there and make it easier to use. And we continued this work in 2015 with a darker theme that was more cohesive and really gave you more focus on the drawing canvas and the different icons that are in the ribbon. And in AutoCAD 2020, I wanna show you the new dark blue theme where we've really taken this up a notch. We've put a lot of work and design uh, expertise into creating uh, not only the best icons that can grab your eye quickly and aren't too jarring, but we've, we've really focused on the contrast on the ribbon and to make these easier to see and flatten some of the icons and give it a more modern, cleaner look and feel. And we've enhanced the theme of AutoCAD to this darker blue, which the icons have been designed against. We've updated the status bar in 2019, and it looks even better now in 2020 with the darker blue theme here. So you can see the contrast of the um, status, status bar on the bottom. And we've, we've, when we've talked to customers about this, we've, uh, they've been really excited. They, they really get excited about the new theme, the look and feel, you know, AutoCAD um, gets a refresh and uh, 
really is a better experience on the eyes when you're staring at this for, you know, as our customers do, 10 to 12 hours a day at times. It's really quite important to us that we do this. And this experience is rolling out to all of the specialized tool sets. So that's part of the, what I was talking about earlier with cohesive core experience, where we really want you to feel familiar in AutoCAD, uh, no matter where you are and what, uh, what platform you're on. And whether you're in AutoCAD mechanical or AutoCAD architecture, that look and feel stays consistent and easy to use and familiar, which in the end is really about saving you time and giving you a great user experience. The next theme that I wanna cover is seamless data. And um, you might've seen some of our efforts here uh, in, the, in the media about our partnerships with uh, Dropbox. And we've been pursuing integrations with these cloud storage providers because our customers are storing a lot of drawings here. And we wanna make it as easy as possible to use for our customers to get those AutoCAD drawings you know, from Dropbox, for example, um, and, and open in AutoCAD as quickly and easily as possible. There's over 5 billion DWGs stored in, uh, across uh, these providers, and that's growing and increasing at a very rapid rate. So, um, that's the reason that we've really been pushing to make sure that our customers who are storing these drawings here have an easy, accessible experience to get those drawings up and into AutoCAD and be able to edit them and close them and save them and have them uh, be secure in the cloud. And we are building a direct connection to some of the leading providers of AutoCAD uh, uh, within AutoCAD across desktop, web, and mobile. So this is not just a desktop thing. We're really connecting our multi-platform experience to these providers. So if you're, if you're storing your drawings in Dropbox and you then leave the office and you've got your mobile phone and you wanna check something before you jump onto the site, for example, you can just uh, open your drawing from Dropbox and open in AutoCAD and there's, there's not this fear that oh, I've, I've left a drawing or I didn't, did I copy that file to my laptop, you know, on a USB drive and all of those things that uh, people have been doing for a long time. Really, we want to take away some of that uh, anxiety about where all the files are and just being able to access them at any time. And uh, some very large companies, for example, Microsoft has, has reached out to us to, to partner with us on this and they're saying, hey, we've, we've, we know we have a lot of customers storing DWGs and it's growing very quickly. How can we work together to better serve our, our customers? Uh, earlier in last fall, we announced our partnership with Dropbox, one of the leading storage providers, and we've continued to work with Box and Microsoft to enhance those partnerships to really make it uh, as easy and seamless as possible to access those drawings. I want to jump to AutoCAD Web. Uh, AutoCAD Web is growing and changing every day, and I hope some of you have been able to get on uh, web.autocad.com to test it out because it's really an exciting platform and it's, it's something that we're updating on a, literally on a weekly basis, you'll be able to get uh, updates to it. And this past fall, one of the most requested uh, features for our web product, the command line was introduced. It was actually the number one requested feature. Uh, that's, that's probably not a surprise. <laughs> Um, and so you see here on the bottom left, we've now got a command line in AutoCAD web. And again, the, the reason that we are so intent to do this is really to make it as familiar as possible to jump between platforms and use AutoCAD. And you'll see here web is, you know, I want you to think of web not only as a, a viewing platform, but also as really an editing tool we've been building in editing functionality into it and we continue to add and improve the editing functionality on AutoCAD web. And this is something that's uh, available to you as subscribers to AutoCAD for free. Um, that's that's an, another important point. If you subscribe to 
AutoCAD, you get access to AutoCAD Web and AutoCAD Mobile for free. I want to share an exciting new feature that we've worked on in AutoCAD 20. And uh, we've been doing a lot of research, talking with customers about how they work with blocks. And in AutoCAD 2020, we have updated the block insert interface to really make it more visually easy to find the blocks that you're looking for. Um, if, for example, you don't you haven't memorized the name of the block that you're using, we provide the thumbnails there so you can grab a block and either drag or click it onto the screen as you usually would. And one of the exciting uh, additional enhancements that uh, I love telling people about is this new recents tab. So if you've ever been working in a drawing and trying to find a block that you used uh, three weeks ago or a month ago and you then, then go on a chase to double click through a bunch of drawings you were working on to find that block, um, we've put in a recents tab, which will, it's basically a most recently used list. So it will automatically remember the last uh, draw blocks that you've worked with and keep that in a tab. And you can always check that recents tab to see what are the most recent blocks you've worked with and then pull those into your drawing. And, um, Let's see, I might have talked a little bit too much about this, but I get excited about it. We've got another tab here where you can open another drawing and insert blocks from that drawing. So you basically click this uh, other drawing tab and load, uh, select a drawing, and then that drawing will populate in the, popul the, the blocks in that drawing will populate here and you can insert them into the drawing. So some really exciting uh, updates to the to the insert blocks workflow. Please uh, check it out. Let us know what you think. We've got our um, insert options here on the bottom that are you should be very, very familiar with. They're basically the same ones from the insert dialog, but we've added a few nice enhancements. For example, repeat placement, where if you want to keep inserting a block, you just check that box and you'll be able to insert multiple of the same block. Another exciting enhancement here is this filtered search bar on the top. So if you know the block name and you've got a long list and you type in AR, for example, then you'll filter through to get all the AR blocks that are in the current drawing or the tab, for example. In AutoCAD 2020, you will also find some exciting enhancements to the purge command. So purge is something that's near and dear to many of our customers, uh, you know, cleaning and maintaining your drawings to uh, high standards. You don't have things in there that you don't know about or aren't adhering to your company standards. And in, in AutoCAD 2020, you'll see some enhancements, which I'll show you here in this video to the purge dialog. And we've really focused on making it easier and quicker to be able to, one, purge the drawing. So here we've made it easier to select different objects and entities. If you just want to purge a few things, you use those checkboxes, say purge check items, and only the items you've selected are purged. And you'll see also a new find non-purgeable items tab. So we've tried to help customers understand why they can't purge something in a drawing. We've given them insights into, for example, how many blocks are in that drawing, and you can even then click that uh, icon there and it will zoom and highlight those blocks on the canvas that you're investigating and you can go in and change the layers of those blocks if they're perhaps on the wrong layer or uh, you need to actually delete them if they shouldn't be there. And that's that little uh, zoom to canvas button right there that the mouse is hovering over. 
And similarly with the layers tab, we'll show you um, how many blocks are on that layer and how many objects are on that layer. So in case you're, you're looking at a layer that uh, you want to get rid of and you can't figure out why you can't get rid of it, there you can see, well, there's actually 200 objects on there and you can zoom and select those to see what that's about. I want to go through, how are we doing on time? I want to go through a couple of cross-platform workflows because these are some of the newer uh, workflows our customers are doing that are multi-platform. And one of the reasons we've been featured on, uh, on some of the, for example, Google or Apple main stages because we've really been invest, investing in having AutoCAD be accessible anywhere and it's, if people get pretty excited when they're able to use native AutoCAD on the web or on their iPad, for example. Um, they really bring the power of AutoCAD with them wherever they are. So let's dive into a quick example of a workflow <clears throat> to show you what this is like if you haven't, uh, if you haven't been working in this way. So in this instance, let's say I have a PDF um, of a drawing, and I'm going to import that using PDF import and bring that into AutoCAD. And then I save that drawing. So we'll rename it, save it. And in this case, I want to save it to uh, a project folder in my OneDrive uh, folder. So now we're saving the drawing to the cloud and that will make it accessible basically anywhere. So let me zoom ahead here. So now you're, you're on the go and you've got your iPad and you go into AutoCAD and you've connected your OneDrive uh, folder with AutoCAD, and there you see your floor plan drawing. So let's say you're now in, in the field, um, and you download this drawing onto your iPad, and you're going around the building and checking, you know, checking the existing conditions of the, of the building. And you can do some quick markups, and comments within the AutoCAD mobile app. So let's say this column uh, is appearing slightly differently than it was in the drawing. And you can make a note of that in the drawing. And this will automatically be saved back to OneDrive. Um, so you don't have to you don't have to worry about creating a different file, et cetera, or making sure that this is saved. If you're you're working the cloud, it will be saved to the cloud. And then uh, back in the office, you can have one of your site engineers, for example, use drawing compare to see, hey, what was the difference between the two drawings, right? The one from the field and the one from uh, that was initially we were working off of. So you use drawing compare, which is new in 2019 and enhanced in 2020 to show you what, <clears throat> excuse me, what the difference between those two drawings is really quickly. So here you see that drawing changes highlighted in red and green to show you what the difference is between those two. And we've made some exciting updates to in AutoCAD 2020 to drawing compare. So now you'll be able to not only see the changes right in your current drawing, uh, you'll also be able to edit in real time and have those changes update in real time. For example, moving that wall will show a change instantly. And you can also go into the drawing uh, that you are comparing to and import an object from that compare drawing into your current drawing in case there's something, oh, actually, I need to bring in this, this object, uh, the, the old column casing, for example, into my current drawing. You can export that view as a snapshot, which will save as a DWG 
saving that state of the compared view. And another exciting thing that we've done to make it really easy to work between platforms is being able to save directly from your desktop and save to AutoCAD Web and Mobile. So you can go in, hit File, Save As, save to Web and Mobile, and then that drawing, when you open your mobile device or AutoCAD Web, will be accessible from either Web or Mobile. And you can continue to work on that drawing. If you're home or if you're on the go, it's always there with you. And I want to show a quick demo of editing on AutoCAD Web. And again, this is something that's changing very, uh, very quickly. So we're continuing to update this as <clears throat> almost in real time. So AutoCAD Web is a powerful editing tool where you can go in and make changes just as you would in, in traditionally desktop AutoCAD. And that drawing then saves to the same location. And um, beyond that, again, uh, I'd just like to thank everyone who was a part of uh, planning this webcast with us and this last series of webcasts with us from Autodesk. Um, Sean, thank you for being there. Um, the in entire inventor team, there were like five people on that webinar and then, um, and then our good friend Irvin Hayes as well. So I'd like to thank all of those people for being a part of this three part webinar series um, that's extending to four. Um, but Nikhil is going to do that from in-house. So definitely thank you for being here, Sean. Uh, it was great to see some of the new additions to AutoCAD. I'm really excited this year. Yeah, thank you for having me. And thank you, everyone, for joining online to hear what's new. And please, um, please check out the new features and our web and mobile products and continue giving us feedback. And Nigel, you, you know, if you hear things as well, please pass them along to us. Absolutely, we will do. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, everyone. We will see you again next week, same place, same time, uh, for Autodesk Virtual Academy brought to you by Katif Technologies. Thanks, everybody. Take it easy. Have a great weekend.